Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, I, uh, I finally went back and I checked out the mold quest. We got all the samples, we got a pill that made us immune to the purple mold, and we descended into the pit where we did battle with a horrible creature identified as Mold One. Now we need to head back to uh, research in order to uh, wipe out the last of the zombies wandering around outside the threshold. But before we did that, I, when I came back here to change, I thought I would check in on Jesse's brother. And you know what? I found something that might be a positive sign. Dylan's hair is growing back. Rather rapidly, too. Like, I don't think this would just be from the fact that no, he hasn't been shaving since he's been in a coma. I think it's, uh... It's like the hiss was, uh... Causing his hair to fall out, and now that it's gone, it's immediately going back to the way it was. On my way into that room, incidentally, that same soldier said, I mean, at least the hiss bleed. Normally when you're fighting something in this place, it's like an angry fucking rocking chair or something. And I liked that. I certainly liked it more than the, uh, that agent up there at the corner, who, uh, said as I walked by, So the director closes the door to the hiss dimension, and she expects a pat on the back. We're still in lockdown! Man, what an asshole. Okay, we are going after those guys. But, uh, before we do, I did want to do a thing. Uh, oh, are we all the way at the bottom? Yes, 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 uh, let me see here. No, no, in the collapse department. Uh, yeah, yeah, transit access. All right, God damn it, I was just out here. <laughs> you know what? I know an indirect route to get there, so fuck it, I'll just do that. I might have to run past some dudes in here. That would have been really lucky, but no. No, fine, up I go. Huh. You know what occurs to me? I can probably just turn off those... Uh, I'll probably just stop using those mods with, like, the melee damage things on them. What? Oh, right. And here I am. Yes, it was there. There! Thar. Thar she blows. Oh, white mold. That's new. Where is the zombie? Correspondence, new language. For immediate publication. Uh, wait. Oh, it's a dead letter. I thought this was gonna be like an internal correspondence, just so we're clear. For immediate publication, I learned a brand new language. The fish taught me. You probably don't believe me, so I will prove it. Let's see. Hu lilel miuti jermelo abd eus ilmen eku. Quido? Kib quido, ert ert, pipo hurum eulin, rek ai buit, 1455, os per trund Henu... 20,202. Quiddy whip... Uh, we whip. Yulin in yum. Ret bua with yum. Uh, quim zual ten. Jabini rog. See? Publish this letter, and maybe other fish speakers will get in touch. They'll be able to read my address, even if you can't. Jabini rog, Larry Humbert. Wow. Yeah, that, that was, uh, hmm...
see, my first thought was that it was going to be Finnish. Actually, I've just realized that I cannot definitively say that that is not Finnish. <laughs> well, one of the things I just said probably was offensive to the Finns, so uh, I apologize for whichever one of them it was that applies. Okay. Let's see. Parapsychology. Hmm. Oh, I got a loading screen tip here uh, on the way there that uh, it said that. Well, it was about melee, you know, and it, uh, you know, it, it hits multiple enemies if they're close, you know, that sort of thing. But the thing that struck me is that melee is a telekinetic blast that. And uh, I don't think I'd ever seen it describe what it was described before. Like, at no point other than, you know, press Y to melee was it explained to me. It's just something that she's been able to do since she walked in the front door, so it's definitely a Polaris thing, and not a, uh, an object of power thing. And it burns the ground and cracks the tiling, so I just assumed it was like... a raw expulsion of, uh, Polaris, uh, resonance. Hedron radiation, or whatever it is. I don't see any zombies. Hello? Living dead? Oh, this has got to be the place. It is spreading off of their bodies. This is where they touch the floor and wall. Gross. So, yes, uh... Have I been in here before? No. Sensory tank purpose. Just a moment. Oh, hey, and while I'm inserting jump cuts, uh, I found a thing in between the last video and this one. When I was uh, heading back to the control point in order to warp back to Central Executive. Very clever. Oh, an astral blip. How kind of you. Okay, my lozenge wrapper says march forward. Okay, uh, ahem. Sensory tank purpose. Darling here, some of you were curious why I had these sensory deprivation tanks in installed. I thought it'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you have heard of a Dr. Yoshimi Tokui, the man behind the hugely popular Guided Imagery Experience tapes. Apparently his tapes go beyond the normal meditative qualities of such things, but create genuine hallucinatory visions in some listeners, or so the reports say. We brought these tanks in to test Dr. Tokui's tapes for ourselves. Plus, there may be stre some stress-relieving uses for the staff down the road. I think we could all benefit from some time in a dark and closed space, don't you? If you have any more questions, feel free to stop by my office. You know where it is. He was much cheerier back then. I'm not claustrophobic or anything, so I was even curious about sensory deprivation tanks. But honestly, I feel like I would just get bored. I cannot turn my mind off. Oh. oh no, whatever will I do? Oh, it's the explosive one. That's a that's a not blow up the lab. <laughs> Three of them, sure. Oh, ESP cards. Neat. Yeah, the, the, I think they, they used these at the beginning of uh, Ghostbusters. It's a genuine thing where the tester looks at the card and f concentrates on it, and the uh, other person being tested attempts to guess what the card is by reading the tester's mind. 
these just look like playing cards with the backs out. Is this a puzzle room? No, there's nothing I can interact with except for that file. Oh, the blind is so they can't see it. Ah, yes, you have to, yeah, sure, you have to guess the order. You know, since, let's face it, the uh, Bureau probably discovered uh, conclusive evidence of ESP in the 40s. Dr. Tokui investigation. It's kind of weird for me to find, uh, yeah, Dr. Casper Darling had a research. Yeah, I understand that it's a piece of paper and it's been sitting here for a long time, but it's still weird to me to find stuff from out of order. From Oh yeah, Dr. Darling's gone. He, he ascended to a higher plane of existence and here's a cheery memo from him about something that really doesn't matter right now in the middle of all this, this crisis going on. Uh, yes, Dr. Takui Investigation, compiled by Lisa Keenum, Special Agent, by order of Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research. Official Findings Report read Dr. Yoshimi Tokui. Dr. Yoshimi Tokui, a Japanese citizen residing in Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience audio recordings that have gained notable popularity around the globe. Due to his unusually swift rise in fame, along with reports of vivid redacted accompanying the use of his tapes, investigation sector staff were asked to look into Dr. Tokui's background. Investigation sector, that's where the AWE d uh, DLC is. So I guess, uh... Either Alan didn't really put it there, or the uh, the effect of him inventing it retconned it to have references throughout the rest of the oldest house. Weird. We found no past incident with an altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organization. Interesting, altered organization. However, agents that attended a signing event reported redacted when hearing Dr. Tokui speak. We recommend that the research team obtain an audio recording of Dr. Tokui's voice and perform any... Uh, wait... Right, right. Uh, any and all relevant analyses. Based on the findings, the investigation sector will determine next steps regarding Dr. Tokui, as well as his eligibility for the Prime Candidate Program. Refer to file 7-42-9633 for full report. What? Oh, oh, yes, all of the finished guys, yes, right, 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 right. It's a lot more descriptive than the uh, main story missions. Wait, yeah, that one still just says, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, fine. Fine, but still. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. That was me accidentally hitting B too many times and dashing directly into the table in front of me. How do I get in there? There was a box in there. Ah, at last! The extrasensory lab. That's what that question mark was. Ah, perfect. Oh, this is someone's fucking desk. Okay, sure, that's not weird at all. Are these the tanks? I thought they were roomier than this. I mean, I know that it's, you know, cramped, but... I think my shoulders would touch the sides. I thought it was supposed to feel like you were floating and not touching anything. That's why they're filled with water, right? So you're not touching the bottom? Wait, can I just get that one? Not while I'm floating. Grenade launcher! Yeah, the guy's not alive anymore. What's the problem here? See what I mean? The armor.
No, you don't. No, my friend! Well, I guess technically it was just a ball of resonance, but you know! Wait. Oh, man, I gotta keep moving because I'm in the middle of a fight, but. I just had a thought. Oh shit, I thought my guy had a shield again! I'm actually really impressed by that. Oh! Never mind, you didn't kill him after all, you just ignored the problem, helped him went away. You killed him! I mean, his health is draining, but yeah. Uh-oh. I smacked him in the ass with a chair to death! does sound weird, now that I think about it. Yeah, these guys were really happy when computers started working in here. Aha! I need to get in there. Never did figure out what's up with that room. Oh, uh, the glowing, I mean. No, it's uh, this button. Yes, yes, parakinesiology. That's right. I know that. I was I, I had to kind of stop dead in my tracks here because I suddenly realized my under, my impression of uh, C's is that uh, Jesse is basically making a makeshift soldier by sucking all of the or pushing even all of the. Uh, the Hiss Resonance out of a infested person and replacing it with Polaris Resonance. You know, it's clearly not meant to create zombies. It drains and they die very quickly, but, you know, it... It gets the job done temporarily. Uh... Oh, it doesn't have one in it. Ah. Okay, there's the zombie. But what's up with these fucking rooms, man? Oh, that's a that's a fucking hmm, that's a person right there. The head of a dummy surrounded by blood. I hate this place. Oh fuck! It's the desk. It's the desk from Threshold Kids. Uh, no, no, wrong button. Uh, uh... No, I sound fucking crazy now. Uh... Wham! Levitating desk, kinda torn apart. Also, I realize to my horror that I'm starting to understand the words in the intro. It starts with, step into the FBC, there's lots to do and lots to see. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, lots to read. Also, is that, uh, is that meant to be Ati or something? I don't think that guy actually appeared in any of the the, the glitty videos I've seen. Huh. The chlamydias. <laughs> yes. I haven't seen that guy in any uh STDs either. <laughs> what the hell? Could have said anything, but it had to come out like that. Oh, you're much tougher than I thought you were. 
Sorry, I did not mean to blow you clean in half. Oh, I saw that. There was resonance coming out of that. Oh, yes, yes, I was starting to say. Uh, the thing that gave me pause wasn't, you know, uh, thinking about the nature of the uh, C's ability. It was the part where the... Uh God, that's distracting. Oh, wow, I forgot about that. The actual mop swirls on the ground. Uh, I realized the hiss clusters are supposed to be nothing but a big ball of pure hiss resonance. If you clear all that resonance out, there should just be nothing left. So how does C's work on them? You'd think it would just cause them to instantly pop. Ominous. Okay, this is uh, unfamiliar to me. Sorry, couch. Maybe we'll get this all sorted out soon. Man, what if your office is down this corridor? Oh, that's how. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah, I can dig it. But uh, we still need to find uh. Last zombie around here. So there, I've saved it. We'll figure out the abilities next time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control. We've got more zombies to track down, and there's more to do beyond that. That's even set, you know, letting alone uh, the AWE DLC expansion to finish the story off. Oh, wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. This, uh, this game is quite the undertaking. Later!